I presume you're getting behind me a, a shot of a new roadway that we've laid here. Uh, this is probably more your traditional roadway where there was shale brought in, you know, to build up a surface. You're looking at it now, it's obviously very rough. There'll be a top and put on that. And to me, the key, the, the key requirement here is to put a vibrating roller on this and in very crude terms to stay on it until you pin your bum from bouncing around the top of this because I've seen all various materials used to make roadways and the key element you'd say between the lot of them is how well they were vibrated to pack them together so you formed a, you effectively formed a seal on the surface so your water ran off. Obviously you, you want a camber, you want a slope to one side to keep the water running off or a camber across the middle. As regards return on investment, roadways give you a massive return on investment because they allow you to get out grazing in extreme conditions both in spring and autumn where without good roadways you just can't get out there or you're going to do too much damage to ground. So putting in more roadways whether they're the like this which is a main runway or they're very narrow ones just in the side of paddocks to let you out there, do them. Do them when you have the opportunity in the drier weather to do them and they're a, they make farming easier and they're a great return on investment.